I agree. The Nini Lions are moving forward. Now they get the puck behind the net. No icing. But Robert Morris will come back along behind the net and control it. And so their attempt to pass away. They score! What a goal from Penn State. It was a no-look pass from the Nittany Lions behind the net. That was Christy Vetter coming off the bench to do some tireless work behind the net, finding her linemate Madsen in front of the net. We're the one-timer tapped home there. And it looks like it's going to be JC Gerhardt. Uh, JC, excuse me, JC Gebhardt with the puck. Another strong save there by Brenneman. Robert Morris had puck in front of the net, and we're in control. Slap shot, and it's going to be saved by Brenningman. Great save right there. Fantastic set of stops there from the Penn State netminder. Battling in the boards with uh, number 13 from Penn State, Renee Gangarosa. And that's going to be a slap shot, but saved by Brenningman. Sends the puck over to the other side of the ice, trying to kill off this penalty. Now they're down one, as Adelson is still in the box, or in the penalty box, excuse me. Robert Morris with the puck at the point here. Trying to look to, for a good shot right here, but Penn State's defense, so we've talked about it. And that's going to be a goal. Robert Morris finds the ball up through the four hole, it looks like. Brenningman, challenge there, had it but it's gonna look like the Nittany Lions are gonna lose that battle. Yeah, Penn State got a little too condensed there on the power play. They were worried about the, the puck in the middle of, the, in the, middle of the, the ice there, where most of the traffic was, but then they just gave number 17, that's JC Gebhardt, their leading scorer, way too much space. She's gonna pick out the open pass every time. Use your chances there when to attack, and with Heising on the ice, even down a skater, if you can commit multiple bodies forward. And Robert Morris had a one-on-one -on -one matchup school, and it's a goal! Brenningman lets one go through the one hole, up high, and Robert Morris now up 3-1. Well, that was just sloppy play there from the Nittany Lions. They lose the draw, and to make matters worse, the defenseman that's back has a loose touch of the puck, and it's going to get poked free by the Colonials. And it's just going to be a breakaway there, one-on-one -on -one with Brenneman. And it's hard to ask the goalie to make the save at that point. This superior team, Robert Morris, come out in the second period after Penn State played well for the first two minutes. The Colonials have come back and matched them, matched their intensity. And and it looks like Robert Morris will come up with possession. The two Nitty Lions following her, pressing up on her pretty hard. So a set up here, number for number 17. It's going to be a battle. They're Brenningman holding it. And it looks like it's going to be a save. Close call there. Could have gone to 4 1 easily right there. Robert there. Morris once again with, with bolster some amounts of traffic in front of the net, but. Incredible save once again from Brenneman, stretching her leg across the crease to make that stop. And then once again, good rebound control. There was a slew of bodies in front for Robert Morris, but they just weren't able to tap it home. That was also good defensive work right there from Ridlin, able to block that second attempt there from Robert Morris after Brenneman was already sprawled on the ground. Any kind of elevation on that shot, and it would have been 4-1, but Ridlin does well to poke it away. Absolutely. Kinda, it's kind of hard to see. You can see on the, the broadcast angle. It's hard for, hard for us to see up here in the booth, but a lot of traffic that shoved down by the Nittany Lions. Robert Morris still battling for possession on the boards. They're shoving hard at those boards. Nittany Lions getting a little bit more aggressive on defense. Robert Morris charging on the, on the far side, wrapping it around, comes shot through the five hole. That is a goal for Robert Morris. That is now four unanswered goals for Robert Morris. The yeah, dominance J continues. JC Gebhardt just showed you why she's one of the best players in the CHA. She had all of the Nittany Lions on the ice puck watching. She's just going to skate right in and say thank you very much. She's going to pick her spot. She's going to rip a, walk a rocket of a wrister right past Brenneman. And Robert Morris has really just come out and taken control of this game. Any kind of momentum that Nittany Lions have built early has now faltered. As that first line just continues to put in work for the Colonials and continue to keep the puck in the zone. Penn State can't get the puck clear. It comes to be the Tumbleton playing in front and they score! Fantastically worked team goal by Robert Morris and it's 5-1. It is turning into a route here at Pagula this Ice could, Arena. This could be me, but 
It looks like Penn State's given up at this point. And they are, are fatigued to that matter. Dude, they're just getting outskated. It's a great point. This team is fatigued, and it's that first line of Robert Morris once again. It's Rene, Gebbard, Templeton. They go tic-tac-toe and just take a Penn State unit that's been defending tirelessly the whole game. The Colonials take down the Penn State Nittany Lions 5-1 to one in game one of this two-game set. For Ben Boris, I have been...